This game may trigger seizures. <laughs> They're not lying. Oh, jeez. So, Desaturate, uh... Wait. If you feel sick, stop playing immediately. Consider enabling the desaturated color setting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is a game by MIT. Uh, it's in beta. And... Curse you, MIT. Yeah, they made a game. It is called A Slower Speed of Light. That's illogical! Well, what they're doing is, uh, y you know how you read something maybe back in the day in high school about, uh... No! <laughs> about special relativity. And we were like, what? Relativity well, isn't that special! <laughs> it's a special little snowflake, <laughs> just like the rest of them. Um, so anyway, so what this game wants to do is you they want- You are not khaki pants. <laughs> Fine. Okay, anyway. Uh, this game uh, slows down the speed of light and lets you see the effects of near uh, light speed uh, velocities. Um, turn, so down yeah. the, turn down the volume a little bit. Oh yeah, the time. volume's maxed out again. Alright, there you go. Uh, now you can actually hear us. Just so people who are wondering don't have to ask. <laughs> so once upon a time... I have a stuffy nose! As always. Once upon a not, uh, once upon a nime, in a in a quiet village, there was a, a quiddled lyled. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> uh, sadly, the little child fell into death's icy grip. Why is it death God, icy? already child death. Yeah, child murder. It's... Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> the little child's spirit began the journey to become one with light. And then it fell to the dark side. <laughs> I was too fast. But the speed of light, I love it. It's, 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 it yeah, it died. It oh, wait, got wait, run over by this by little, light. Those little pictures, like the little uh -huh. squiggles, those look like the the like the particle maps that from. Oh from, my god! Yes, everyone who wants to see something really cool, go look up a bubble chamber on on YouTube. That's not what I was. After talking this about, video. But. Oh well, yeah, bubble chambers are what. I'm talking about like, like. The Hadron Collider. Yeah, but Bubble Chambers lets you see that bef with, you know... Well, it lets you see radiation. Yeah, well, that's what those are. Those those cool little maps of all the particles zipping off. That's The Bubble Chamber is just a very simple and easy way to look at them. Anyway, but the speed of light was too fast for the small and clumsy little spirit. Luckily, the spirit world is full of magical MacGuffins that slow down light. You mean drums? Yes. Well, they're actually little orbs. Collect oh. orbs to slow down light to walking speed so you can finally move on. What? So uh, so this thing on the left will show how many orbs we've collected. You have to get 100 of them. And this shows the this little white bar shows this, the speed of light. And you move it down and the more orbs you get. Uh, and this shows the, the spectrum you're seeing. So the colors show what you can actually see. Uh, but as you get, as light gets slower and slower, you can start moving it into infrared and ultraviolet. It's kind of cool. Is this true? Uh, if yes. light slows down, you'll be able to see more? Well, yes, because what happens is as you start going like near light speeds... Uh, no, I mean slowing down light. Well, no, that can... Whoa, no. Minecraft. Yeah. So, I'm a little spirit. I have little wavy controls. These are actually kind of horrible and they get worse the slower it goes. Well, I guess I'm just floating around. So, these are little orbs you can grab. Grab these little orbs. And oh 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 jeez, oh, oh, oh. this game is in beta. <laughs> it's not so. Uh, anyways, this is the world. It's worldy. The colors are a little I weird, but I expect those Mar yeah. Mario Gal Galaxy like tree spirits to be cool. up there. So the collisions are a little off. So anyway, you pick up little orbs. I got seven of them. Uh, and you can see that my little this is my little speed on the right side. You see it goes up like my little seesaw or something. Anyway, um, and that's all the game. It's literally just to collect these things, but. As you might have even started to notice, after just 10 of these, I'm starting to see some weird effects. It's very trippy. This game, they even threw mushrooms in because... Uh, well, mushrooms should be in everything. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but they're anyway. They're in Sonic. They're in Mario. I mean, everything needs mushrooms. Yeah. But anyway, they weren't They were, uh, They were. weren't kidding about the seizure thing. This thing gets uh, pretty trippy. And I mean Sonic and Knuckles. You know, that first... So when you yeah, started, so let's go with it, that Ian this little has pile. no idea about. It's fine, Ian. It's fine. I, di I didn't play all of those. Yeah, look at this. See, now we're getting weird color effects. And oh. what's happening is we are... And we'll stop again and then go back to those normal colors. So what's happening is as we're going really fast, or rather, in this case, as we're slowing down the speed of light, uh, we're actually running into the photons. as they're, Or actually, they're, since they're acting as waves in that case, we're running into the waves of light. 
and we're the the wavelength is hitting us at a half faster speed so we're making a shorter wavelength effectively for the light doppler so, effect yeah this is called the doppler effect this is why we can tell whether stars are moving away us away from us or towards us blue they, shift yep. red shift hey exactly. this is all coming back to me exactly now. so this game teaches you cool science and awesome little trippy in ways in an acid trip in an acid trip it's learning science inside of an acid trip so uh we've got half of the the hundred stars here or 100 orbs so now we're getting even crazier effects uh, and if I go the other way, you can see now I'm red shifting everything. Everything's going red because I'm moving away from it. And now the light's being stretched, and now I'm compressing the light. We're also getting, see, I'm now seeing a little bit into the uh, ultraviolet there. All these purples are actually ultraviolet light. That means those houses are glowing. Yes, those houses are glowing in ultraviolet. And this is now, I'm seeing into the infrared. So this is. I've an always wanted to be a bumblebee. So this is the infrared spectrum. Another effect that happens when you go near the speed of light is you're hitting more light. You're basically just running headfirst into all the photons. Oops, and now I'm getting stuck on janky physics. Uh, you're running into the photons and it actually gets brighter. So as we look behind us, as we get more of these orbs, it'll actually get darker. Physics! Oh. Physics are awesome! Um, and this is one of those things that really bugs me about like video games or books, especially books. Books get this wrong all the time. I probably can't books? go through this. Oh, I can go through the hedges. Books, they never, they, whenever they talk about like spaceships going faster than the speed of light or near speed of light, they never mention any of these effects. Okay, let's be totally honest here. For the most part, they're not saying that the ship is actually going faster than light because that's impossible. They're saying it's folding space. Yeah, they. A tesseract some is MacGuffin. not super fast. Oh, there we go. Isn't so that what warp travel is anyway? Doesn't it like? Oh God. Yep. So now I can go fast enough, or rather, the speed of light is slow enough. Now the light behind me is shifting outside of my, what my eyes can see, and now the light in front of me is shifting too far outside of what my eyes can see, and now there's that really like brightness effect, and then if you also look distances, like as I go behind me, things get really kind of close. And then as I go towards them, they seem to go farther away. It's because I'm... Basically, the the distances are effectively appearing to be stretched. Geometry starts breaking. I am breaking all of the geometry. Alright, so I'm going to find another 14 of these orbs. And what happens if you get... Oh, now it gets really hard to control. <laughs> Well, maybe you should stop going faster than yeah. light, eh? Uh, well, okay, so that's the thing the game does. is You can't actually... You never actually go faster than the light for uh, the very important reason that if you actually did get near to the speed of light, your mass would increase to infinity and... Uh, maybe you should stop slowing down light, eh? And time would... And if, and also, I think this does this... Yeah, uh, people... Uh, I don't know if it does a time dilation effect, but uh, time should also start going really slowly for me compared to everyone else. And this is an important thing. This is actually one of the few things that actually happens a lot that we actually sort of encounter in our daily life, where uh, GPS... Oh, jeez, I can't even control this to get to the door now, because I'm warping physics. Uh, GPS clocks, uh, like uh, the GPS system relies on extremely accurate clocks in the GPS satellites, and they're going fast enough in their orbit that... Atomic clocks. Yeah, the the atomic clocks actually gain like 40 milliseconds or something. Or, or 40, cesium? like, nanoseconds every day. Or every year or something like that. They use cesium, Yeah, cesium right? clocks, yeah. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, so the, uh... Uh... Oh, jeez. Out of my way! Ah, oh, stupid bitch. time dilated. Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. This we looks got like 100. a Japanese game, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, so anyway, so the cesium clocks, they have to be adjusted for... Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so oh. Now, now I've got all... It, it takes away the color effects, so you can see the the distortion that happens. At, we're like a quarter of the speed of light, I think. And so just the uh, the weird distortion, if I can get outside of this damn place. All right, so this is what it happens like at relativistic speeds. Ah, uh, The world just becomes very wonky. Are you actually moving... Move, oh... Oh yeah, this is this is that seizure bit. Okay, these freaking boulders. I'm gonna punch okay, them. Okay, there's a straight line. Go for it. Oh, oh. geez. <laughs> yeah. So uh, things that as you, I go really fast, things that are farther away get, and then like things, if I go the opposite direction, things they get, get really closer? yeah, they get closer. So that gets really far away, and then and then it gets really close, and then like if I turn sideways, I mean, it just, oh, those I'm, of you who get motion sick should probably not be watching this. <laughs> Please begin vomiting. But anyway, Keep yeah. Keep your bucket. So I just wanted to show this game for a quick bit just to, you know. 
Oh, it's oh. bending! Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, what happened? Oh, jeez, did I just, like, break through this I, I fence? I think you did! I th am I stuck outside the level now? That'd be pretty hilarious. Oh, wait. Did I break the game? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> well! Wait, maybe if you go fast enough, you can... Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, we broke the game! It's fine. It's fine! This is what happens when you tamper with physics! Oh, jeez! Uh, science! Uh, uh. <laughs> anyway, the point is, if I can get out of this, is actually to get through that white fence. Good job. You, uh, you won and then you lost. Oh, jeez. Can you move at all? No, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, I can just press escape and do it. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, Congratulations. So that was physics. Spirit. You have transcended. Yeah, yeah, little spirit transcended. The end. The end. Spirit had a, a, a psychedelic dream where she was at Woodstock. What well, happened? Make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. What? <laughs> Work that out in your head for a minute. Freaking Einstein. <laughs> Take home exercise. Uh, so the whole, like, uh, well, the reason special relativity happens is because it says the speed of light is constant. As you get close to the speed of light, everything else has to change. Your mass, the, the way you perceive time, how things look, everything breaks. Well, that's the whole E equals MC squared thing, right? Yeah. More or less, yeah. Or, or is that just a conversion of energy to mass? I think so, but it, it, it that always has to stay constant, and the speed of light has to be constant for it to work. So, well, that's yeah. why I say constant. Right, yeah, E equals MC squared. All that cool stuff. So, in the slower speed of light, the speed of light slows down with every orb you pick up. It is impossible for you to read the speed of light, but certain relativistic effects become more visible as you get very close. Light behaves like a wave. Oh, uh, relativistic Doppler effect. Light behaves like a wave. And a particle. And different wavelengths appear Depending. as different colors. As you and other objects move around, the wavelength of light changes, appearing redder or bluer to your eyes. Some light becomes infrared or ultraviolet, which your eyes cannot usually see. The spirit encounters a toaster. I see heat! <laughs> the toaster has learned to feel love. <laughs> the spirit teaches the toaster to feel love. Yeah. And then make, they make toast together. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone! I've taught the toaster to be alone. Uh, searchlight effect. Moving left, the objects on the left are brighter than the objects on the right. Uh, what does that say? Oh, ah, guys, guys, it's, it's too, too bright. bright. All yeah. the lights on All one the side are smacking <laughs> around the face. Yep. <laughs> that, that light also behaves like a stream of particles called photons. When you run towards a stream of photons, more photons hit you in the face! And the objects become brighter. The effect is also called relativistic aberration. I'm just going to call it, like, particle Doppler. Yeah. Uh, relative, or special relativity. Light always moves at the same speed. So if the speed of light is constant, then the distances and times in the world around you have to warp. Oh, God. Your time is different from the time in the world. Time dilation. And your distances are different from the distances in the world. Lorenz transformation. But how can time and space stretch? It seems so unreal. Science! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little you... Spirit is confused by physics. Uh, little Spirit Einstein will show her the way. Oh, jeez. Einstein's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Uh, that's I how just, I... I just... I would love it if, if Einstein's ghost was around and, like, every time somebody was like, I don't get it, he just pops in and screams, Science! <laughs> <laughs> You have to be much closer to the speed of light to notice more dramatic effects of Lorentz transformation compared to the Doppler and searchlight effects. The searchlight effects. At the end of the game, the Doppler and searchlight effects are removed to make the Lorentz transformation easier for you to see. Uh, a weird effect of the Lorentz transformation at high speeds, uh, you can actually see the back side of an object when you're still on the opposite side. What? So you could read the opposite side of a sign even though you're not on that side yet. And the reason for this is because as light particles come off of the back side of the sign, you're going so fast that you'll actually be running, like you're warping them towards you and you'll see them before you'll actually pass the sign. It's very weird and I it breaks my head. I love science. Science! Runtime effect! How beautiful. How beautiful! I wonder if they're dead. Yes. Jeez. Normally light- Like it's been shot! <laughs> <laughs> Photon for something so bright, you sure are slow. Oh, he's chained to an orb. Uh, Normally, light is extremely fast, but it still takes time for photons to reach your eyes. When you look at anything, you are actually observing incoming light from some time in the past. Oh, God. The further you look into space, the further you look into history. 
This is easily noticeable when you look at Dobbin. This is a long paragraph. We live in Bob. 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 We live in Consulting. These are people who made this possible. Kodak and NVIDIA, apparently. Wait, Kodak? They died, right? They went bankrupt, didn't they? I'm not crazy. Kodak? Kodak? No, Kodak's still around. Oh. Who are you think? kidding me? Kodak's still around for, like, the simple reason oh. that they are colored. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of, uh, oh, no, who is that, who is that, like, photocopier company or whatever? Xerox? Maybe it was Xerox. It must Xerox have been Xerox. Xerox is still alive, too. Oh, damn it. Some, so, someone died. <laughs> Lots of people die all the yeah. time. We just haven't, Life se ends we just haven't seen them yet. <laughs> Because of relativity. Oh, jeez. Uh, anyway, so then. Einstein noch nicht sehen konnte visual. Oh, God. Visual. Oh, there's actually like science papers. Relativist effects of physics journal. Oh, yeah. Blur. And of course, Einstein's paper from 1905. I love you, Einstein! Woo! Oh. Throw the horns! Yeah. <laughs> so that was a slower speed of light. Yeah. I thought it would I be. I learned a lot, and I got a little bit sick. Yeah. Now write a 20 page paper on how awesome Einstein is. Right. How about Little Spirit who discovered toasters? That's way more interesting. <laughs> That's, okay, everyone do that. Go, Spirit! Woo! Bye!